The next chapter of the stunning Uncharted franchise is The Lost Legacy, from the amazing team at Naughty Dog. The first game in the franchise not to feature Mr Drake, but instead places you in the role of Chloe Fraser, aided by Nadine Ross, who you may recognise from Uncharted 4, as well as some other familiar faces. Set sometime after the events of Uncharted 4, they are exploring the western Ghats of India in search of the Tusk of Ganesh, which is also being hunted by the warlord Asav. Having Chloe and Nadine go from side characters in the main games to upfront stars in their own adventure was the right choice. Seeing the bond between the two grow from barely trusting each other to having a bond akin to that of Nathan and Sally made the game even more enjoyable to play and you kind of forget that you are not with Nathan Drake or Sally. Gameplay wise it is the same formula as previous Uncharted games where missions involve a mixture of exploring, solving puzzles and of course the occasional shootouts and fistfights. Why fix what isn't broken? There are a nice selection of guns to play with and the handling and sound effects are pretty on point. My favourite being the China Lake as the sounds it makes when the nade rounds explode was so satisfying. While at a lower price point and not as long as the other main Uncharted adventures, the Lost Legacy's smaller, more condensed adventure takes all the positives of the series, bringing them together in a pseudo greatest hits, showing all that is great with the series, with an adventure that doesn't feel like it's outstaying its welcome, even if the crate platforming section makes a return for a short time early on in the game. The graphics are superb, and yet again show what the great team over at Naughty Dog are capable of down to the amazingly detailed levels from just running through the story missions or just hunting collectibles, to the colourful surroundings of the breathtaking vistas of the open areas which are truly something to behold. Well the game overall is something special, there are a couple of niggling points but nothing bad. The first is the main open area, while big and looking beautiful did feel a bit empty outside of the story objectives. Granted there are a handful of optional puzzles and collectibles to find, it would have been nice if there were more enemy bases or something to make it feel more alive. The other thing was a sav. While the writing and the performance of the character were great, his motivations felt lacking. It just felt like he was being evil for the sake of being evil. But those are my own personal opinions, other people may disagree. Overall, The Lost Legacy is another great adventure from Naughty Dog, giving a great story, interesting characters, beautiful locations with some slightly taxing puzzles, at least for me, and must buy for any Uncharted fan or anyone new to the series. <laughs>